Okay, hopefully this is recording the disc. Um, this is what my uh, uh, test using the HDMI input recording directly from the iPad to screen. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the uh, apps that I use. And uh, I kind of, you know, explained it before, but I'm actually showing you the screen itself. Um, here's my colloquy chat right here. That's... Uh, and I don't think we got uh, the thing enabled, fortunately. I don't have wireless on, I think. Uh, actually, maybe I should turn it on real quick. Just so you can see everything. Hopefully, I'm not going to give away any. Oops. Okay. That should be enabled now. Show you some of the uh, things in here. Okay, we're going to try to go to uh, Colloquy Chat. Should uh, automatically connect. Okay, that's a little bit too slow. And, uh... The weather channels, that's a biggie one for me. And, uh, this is kind of cool. It shows you... Uh, here's a local map. Actually, we rained, uh, quite uh, a bit, um, yesterday and the day before. Uh, of course, it gives you the, uh, the local forecast and severe weather updates and uh, some are the the iPad version some just the uh... oh is this actually working oh there we go here's my chat room for uh, Justin TV and maybe we can do a test and uh, there you go it seems to be working there's the uh, colloquy. Uh, supposedly it won't turn off. Because uh, I know you can do multitasking. Okay, let's get out of that. Um, okay, here's Team Viewer at HD. This is probably showing the wrong way. Oh, it automatically does it. That's another iPad 2 app. I haven't fully used that one yet. And uh, see whether channel Skype. Um, here's the Skype one right here. I don't know if it's logged in or not. Uh, I believe this is the uh, iPad 2 version as well. I think I got another page in here somewhere. Oh, TV Guide, another favorite of mine. And it'll probably take a little while to load. And it's showing you all the neat little apps. Uh, or I mean uh, the TV stations. Uh, you, probably it's ad driven, but that's okay because it's uh, uh, since it uses a larger screen, it's not prohibitive. Uh, USA Today is another great app, and uh, as you see, we're in the uh, the text section, which I actually read. Um, it's pretty much free. Uh, I don't know if it's really ad driven, but I uh, you can get actually up to the date uh, news. And it does have quite a few sections, uh, money, sports, life, tech, travel. So pretty much covers it all on that app. And of course, uh, Macworld. And I think they update it as well each time you uh, log in. And it has different sections too. Uh, if you kind of look at the top, there's some of them. Oops. Or it actually really goes by pages on the, if you look on the bottom, you'll see these little dots and you just, of course, just thumb through them all and the sections will do the same thing, really. Just kind of like shortcuts uh, using the sections. And in fact, let me just go to the top stories. Okay, there's Macworld. And let me see what else we got in there. The important ones, Twitterific. Uh, I actually use that too. And uh, there's all the tweets coming in from... Uh, My stuff right here. I don't know what all this is doing in here. Uh, hopefully, eh. Usually, usually I like it full screen, but uh, another room. See what else I got. I mean, some of the other ones are important, I guess. Um, and okay, this is just a quick, kind of a quick rundown of 
showing how I can record the screen. Uh, okay, actually this is using Wirecast, so I can input audio and video. So uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.